Hi, this is Shadi. Today's discussion is Joshiro Maruyama, two-time world champion, arguably one of the best Uchimata of today's competitors, um, but a lot of people would look at his basic form of Uchimata and call it very aesthetic, very technical and very beautiful. However, Joshiro Maruyama has done five variations of Uchimata throughout his career and today we're gonna look at these five forms of Uchimata. So a lot of them are rare of course but um, it's not just his main one which is his Oikomi no Uchimata or driving Uchimata you can call it Oikomi Uchimata here where you do like a basic form where you step forward and the other leg follows replaces it and the leading leg rips away upwards um, for Ippon. Again, this is the basic form called Oikomi no Uchimata. I got the names from the fighting films DVD where they were um, categorizing in a way as Uchimatas. Here where you see the stab forward with the leading leg is important and then the back leg follows and the leading leg rips away. Again, the basic form for Uchimata is called Oikomi no Uchimata, driving Uchimata. The again in a way did this but very rarely compared to his other forms um, but nonetheless he was very efficient in it and managed to stay upwards perfect form perfect technique and just look at it he remains standing and just walks away for the sore made now the next one is the tobikomi no uchimata or tobikomi uchimata for short uh, diving uchimata i'd say or a jumping Uchimata. You can do it in uh, multiple forms. Um, the Maruyama's form is the easier one where you jump with your back uh, foot and the front foot all that it does is gets the momentum from the back leg to rotate and reaps away upwards. Now this form that I'm showing you here is by far the, the harder variations of Uchimata. Um, you jump with your front foot you don't step in like the first variation, you jump with your front foot and the back foot rotates the ankle as here Koji Komuro is showing you and the front foot uh, gets its position to reap away. So you jump with the right, the front foot, the back foot rotates with the ankle as you see him doing here and you reap uh, away. Let's see him here doing it uh, in Tendoku Renshu. He, he jumps with the right and the back ankle follows in rotation and covers like a meter. Um, Kose in a way was very much popular for this uh, particular variation. He blew through everyone in the 2000 Olympics. Um, again, this is the, the hardest variation of Uchimata and a lot of people don't even understand how it works. For example, I used to think you jump with the back foot like Mariyama did and you rotate the ankle like in a way which makes it very hard to get like a really um, long jump however if you jump with the front foot and you rotate your ankle your back ankle this is how you actually get that distance uh, covered Uchimata of uh, Maruyama actually is less complicated but still highly technical the next one being Ken Ken Uchimata or hopping Uchimata Again, this is a rarity. He did it back in 2018 in Paris Grand Slam. Um, this is usually when you, a lot of people, when they can't get that big lift in Uchimata, they would usually hop it through in order to destroy the balance and get the Ippon. Kose Inoue did this when he was in an extreme stance, uh, right versus left, um, and very hard to get the grip. He would, uh, I would say, hook the leg, reaps it upwards, and continues to hop it through for uh, Ippon. Again, it's very hard to get uh, a big lift uh, with a very extreme stance as you see here um, un or unless you want to get countered. So he hooks, rips away upwards and starts to hop with a big rotation landing for Ippon. The next one being the Tornado Uchimata where you spin uh, and then the momentum of the reaping leg from the spin would get a huge uh, throw forward as you see here Kenya Le Blouche went flying um, the next one the rarest one is I would say Uchimata Makikomi 
cross grip, you let go of the lapel hand and then you do a wrapping motion and sacrificing yourself. Uchimata Makikomi is a Yoko Sutemiwaza, it's a sacrificing technique. Here he does it against Tal Flicker in the world title. For the world title, he lets go of the lapel hand notice and then goes down. And then Tal Flicker does a great job to avoid an Ippon, but Mariyama gets away with a Wazari. This is the basic form of Uchimata Makikomi. This is a very dangerous technique. You let go of the lapel hand and look how the hand can land on the face. This is probably how you get cauliflower ears. So, again, uh, this is a very dangerous one unless you're really desperate for a score for a huge uh, title, championship, but everything else. Just do a regular Uchimata if you're good at it. And finally, you can't talk about the great Uchimata master without his Sukashi. Um, if you're good at Uchimata, you should also know how to counter it. Uchimata Sukashi, a Teiwaza, you rotate the upper body with your hand landing them on your back um, a lot of people mistake gaishi and sukashi but we, it's very easy to i would say tell the difference because one is teiwaza or hand technique and the other is an ashiwaza so this is the i would say ideal form of uchimata sukashi but even if they manage to hit your leg upwards you can still if you have upper body control rotate the upper body with your hands and land them down for a pawn. Like for example here, this example, they managed to hit uh, the leg, but uh, the upper body rotation has them to evade the Uchimata and go for a pawn. Um, this is Uchimata Geishi, it's an Ashiwaza. So uh, ask yourself, whenever you see someone countering an Uchimata, ask yourself, did they actually rotate the upper body or did they actually blow through the feet or uh, trip defeat or reap defeat um, that's how you tell the difference between geishi and tsukashi one is a teiwaza like i said and the other is an ashiwaza so um, this is a very important to know again mariyama is very much known for his main uh, uchimata which is the oikomi no uchimata or the driving uchimata a basic form yet he rendered it so aesthetically uh, pleasing but Let's not forget his other forms of Uchimata, five of them. That's not a small number. So uh, I want you to maybe take notes, uh, take a screenshot, and then write the titles for yourself. You have the Oikomi, Tobikomi, Ken Ken, Tornado Uchimata, and the Uchimata Maki Komi. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. Post there once a week. And please, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. This was Shadi, and as always, thank you for listening.